Since Jarrett Dillard began playing football, he's been underestimated. His San Antonio high school career was filled with touchdowns, yardage, and all-district honors. But the one stat every Division I program focused on was 5'11", 145 pounds. So it figured that the second smallest Division I school gave Dillard his chance. Just knowing that I'm probably one of the smaller receivers out there, it, it just motivates me to play big. You know, I want to play big. I want to be known to be a big-time receiver. Dillard's startling vertical jump is a weapon that elevated Rice onto college football's radar at number 81 into rarefied air with his gravity-defying catches. I've actually worked on my vertical since uh, the eighth grade. With a 42-inch vertical now, I can use it more. Next spring, I want to get up to a 47-inch. You know, I want to be off the map. There's a great story about him. He's five foot eleven, but they, they talk about how he plays that he's eleven foot five. So they flip the, the numbers on him. So he's the eleventh footer on the team. Last year, Dillard jumped into the national spotlight by catching 21 touchdown passes, along with setting an NCAA record for catching a touchdown in all 13 games. But it wasn't just the touchdown total; it was the timing of them. The Bolitnikov finalist caught two game-winning touchdowns, along with one miraculous catch, which led to a game-winning field goal. Fourth down and 10, and now this is it for Rice. You know, it's fourth and 10, and it's like do or die. I look over the sideline, I see our coaches just standing there, you know, searching their mouths like, oh man, we're in some trouble. 40 seconds to go. Shepard back, throwing it deep. Ball up in the air, oh, and it's caught with 30 seconds to go, and guess who, Jared Dillard. Can't even explain it, how that catch happened. I couldn't do that again. <laughs> if you bet $100 on me, I couldn't do that catch again. He absolutely can go next level when he needs to. When it's on the line, Jared Dillard wants a football in his hands. You gotta have it in your mind that you wanna win. Now, first three quarters of the game, you know, I'm quiet as a bird. But, you know, once the game gets down to crunch time, uh, somebody needs to step up. And this past season, it's been me. And I'm stepping up, you know, little steps, just trying to get to that goal and being the best receiver in the nation. 